black desert online money with minimum effort and maximum riches okay well we can all get on board with that sentiment by Faland. oh hello didn't <laughs> see you there yes i am Faybot, but you might ask yourself oh dear what will it be this time Quite simple. I got asked a lot in the past, Mr. Fay, how do one do get the money do thing, or something like that. So today, I will show you how I do the thing with the money. First things first. This is not about being efficient or min max to get the highest amount of bling bling. This is also not a- This dude is flexing the crap out of his house. Look at this house. Look at the furniture in this house. This is crazy. This guy has not seen grass in months. Where do you even get this? Where do you get that? A guide to follow or a zero to Billy Rich Bob Hero Challenge. I will just show you how I get the shiny silver on a daily it was an basis event. and most people who know me know that I am lazy. Grinding mobs for money, that requires to pay attention. For What's his name over here? he moved it down for a long period of time so no thanks going after the highest or newest kind of weird video and fight against others to get some hell no i took the path of patience yeah, what are we doing right now effort what is to this? Be where i am today let me quickly collect my money so we can begin the showcase of mr flexland's daily activities that led to richness maybe you remember from my last video that i like to wait a certain amount of time to feel good when those numbers go up ha oh my god hasn't changed never will be but we need a clean sell list so you have to endure this pocket money collection so i can afford my next batch of empty bottles seems good enough let's start with the basics my slave workers that bring me the <laughs> all right that was a good edit items i am too lazy to get myself over the years i focused more and more on contribution points and invested those useless euros into super cool pearls to buy lodgings in near every main city to cheap out on cp the start was a bit painful for a hoarder like me since i don't like storages that have worker items and other stuff this dude's worker empire is garbage this guy's worker empire is dong water in it at the same time but the moment the goblin force reaches level 40 we just tell them to he's got 146 artists and workers eat every and the dude is missing like like 30 of the keynotes to the main capital storage that is calfian it's quite annoying that i am responsible for their food bad news for them since i only give them the cheapest chicken nuggies that i could find true because of that storage problem we have to manually throw everything into the main storage back in the yee -ye days well it now that they're level 40 i actually have to redo my empire so that everything is dropped in calfion that's where i sell my stuff too when magnus storage access wasn't a thing i used alts to transport stuff oh it's so annoying dude you guys have no idea what it was like with your worker empire back in the day trying to sell all this stuff i would just move an alt to the city and sell it all then move an alt to the next city and sell it all like, it was just so annoying trying to consolidate because ain't nobody gonna pay for that auto transport function i did a lot all right now we can finally begin filtering will be used to turn that dirty river water up, into Seikon? purified ones heating to smelt down these useless ores into melted shards then into ingots big that just sell them keep it 100 boys that's what that's how you make money off your worker empires you just sell the raw materials okay oftentimes you end up losing money if you're processing stuff yeah you get you get a little bit more money but like if you do the math on stuff because of how much ore it takes per make and stuff unless your like processing level is crazy high or you have your like a lot of mastery and stuff you probably aren't going to come out on top just sell the raw mats man it's just wasting time chop chop time to make every log not into planks but it like like all the time you spend processing can be spent afk horse trading and make more money and you just sell the raw mats you add that money together um, versus the money you get from processing this shit, it's you're way out on top. It's not even remotely close. To plywoods, sell slower, but they give a nice amount of money when it happens. Grinding will no, be No, that's that's bad advice. Don't don't listen to that. Used to turn grains into flurs, but we will not further process them, since turning them into dough actually reduces their value and remember. There it is. 
Don't do that. Just sell the grain at raw. Don't even turn it into flour. Super You're crazy. Rundus. Uh, no, you absolutely sell these at base. If you turn them into flour, you end up losing money, like overall. Mainly because you need to use the flour for cooking. If you're turning them into flour, you don't sell flour unless you're a new player and don't know any better. Do you know who sells flour? Uh, do you know who buys flour? Me. Because I don't want to waste time making it necessarily. Or I'll just AFK flour uh, like, like three times. That's annoying. Right? That's annoying. Remember, we are lazy. We don't want to do too many... Bro, if you're lazy, you sell it raw. I'm telling you right now, you lazy boys, you just Steps sell here. it. While our pinky shy does all the processing, we use pretty much every lesser skilled alt to grab some... What in the f*** is he doing? ...empty bottles. No. Put their titsy toes into the cold water no. and scoop that liquid do stuff not. up so we can process it like fine wine. No. The common folk. While this is happening, you just play something else. Watch a nice movie or uwu anime until this whole ideal finishes itself and you just collect the goods. Okay. Do not gather water in a river. AFK. This is a joke. He's joking. You don't do this. You set up an AFK horse training alt and you let the bitch just run back and forth. You don't run out of energy. You don't have to worry about management or anything. The horses just level up. If you leave it longer, you make more money off the horses. They turn into Corsairs. Boom, you're done. Like, it's a piece of cake. Just put the horses on the forest path wagon and you're off to the races. No more thought. Can you imagine people that pay for this stuff? This seems so easy, yet it sells like some streamer bathtub water. But okay, if they want it. Honestly, no one has ever asked me for my bathtub water. I did have a fan reach out to me uh, about a year and a half ago, though, uh, and ask me to cut out the pit stains of my seed shirt and mail it to him, though. And that was probably the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. We provided, I guess. Sometimes our lords from Pearl Abyss decide that we cannot click the filter process button. That's not the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me, but that's the weirdest thing anyone's ever requested of me. But we never panic about this, and in a calm collective way we press every button until we are allowed to continue being lazy and process our bathtub water. Oh my god, this is so... Do not... Oh my god, this is the worst advice. Do not do this. Do you know why he's telling you to do this? It's so this doesn't have to do any of this. This is some Blade Boquest shit right here, okay? Guys, I just figured out this amazing way to make a bunch of money. You bring in all this wheat, you grind it up into flour, and then you sell it on the marketplace to me. Because I'm not going to do that. It's useless. You know what I mean? Like, no one... Like, now, now, he's, now he's filtering water into purified water. All right, so like... <laughs> not that much later, and we can sell a nice stack. Yeah, dude, this dude just made a bunch of purified... Hey, guys, this is how you make purified water. You guys should make this. It sells at max price. Uh, it's got... It's constantly got orders on it. Uh, it's super easy to make. You guys should sell this so I can do my alchemy without it being interrupted. Like, like this is literally Blade Bow Quest 101 right here. This is crazy, bro. You show the community how to do something so that you don't have to do it. For 113 million while... There it is. There it is, boys. I tell you, do not do this. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Do not do this. This is such a waste. Never really actually doing anything for it. We yeah, you this. ever wonder why no one else is making purified water and selling it on the marketplace, dude? <laughs> Same with all the ores, logs, grains, and so on. In simple terms, you just learned that my slave workers bring me stuff. I stand on a table. Here's literally nodes that give you purified water. And I go over this in my node worker empire guide, which you guys should totally check it out. But like, wait, over here. There's two. There's one in this canyon right here. This one sucks. Don't get that one. If you're going to get it, you come to uh, uh, this one. No. Uh, fuck, bro. I don't know where the f is it. This one? Yeah, it's this one. Kunin's vacation spot. Boom. There's your purified water. There it is. There's also a vendor for purified water, but it's really expensive. Like you definitely this this node's definitely super good. 
I don't have it because it's crazy contribution heavy and there's nothing else really out here. So like to me, it's not crazy worth it to do, but like it's definitely like it's definitely a solid node. I wouldn't I wouldn't fault someone for having that. Note. To make that stuff into some other. No, it's cheap. It's like fifty three hundred or so. I, I don't know. I don't know how much it is, but yeah, you can buy um, you can buy purified water from vendors in major towns. Um, so like you can sand grain bazaar as a vendor, this guy, a uh, way I think, uh, and then I think Valencia sells it too. Yeah. Also, uh, star and Easty. stuff and sell said other stuff for sweet, sweet money. What and up, to mask? not waste precious energy. We scoop poop water and do the same with it. We do not sell all of the purified water though, because there are two very simple alchemy recipes that use that water and anything else needed will be provided by the workforce. In both cases- And again, I love how right here he's like, yeah, be careful not to sell all of it so that you can make all of the alchemy ingredients that I don't want to make. Do you know what the big alchemists on the servers do? The guru alchemists? Do you think that they're making, do you think they're making this shit? Do you think they give a shit about pure powder reagent? Clear liquid reagent? No, we let the peons do that. We're not gonna do that. This dude is literally showing you how to do this so that he can buy the shit that you, that you can sell him. This, we need this is wild. Purified water and wild grass. Then either sugar plus silver azalea or salt plus sunrise herb. Unironically still a good guy though. This is a freeway thing, and we can go away. Yeah, this guy's 2K mastery at everything. This guy doesn't do this. I'm telling you, right. okay. nobody at 2K mastery is like, yeah, I'm gonna go make some pure powder reagent. Again, while money makes itself. I mean, Time like, skip. yeah, unless you're just like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get procs. You know what I mean? Like, and now we have done it 5,000 times. Let's see what we got. Yep. For not playing the game, I would say this is a win. I usually sell most of it because I don't want to bother with it anymore and need to do other activities to entertain. Look at that life skilling gear. This rat. <laughs> Myself. Hold on a second. I smell free money. Is that a tamer? Silence now. Why? All right. I hate to be this guy. I got to point it out though. This guy's two main classes are Shy and Tamer. We don't want to get caught. Yoink, this mine now. You can do that? Can you steal from other players? Are you kidding me? Okay, thanks, bye. All right. What? I'm gonna do that right now. You can... Gotcha journalism at its finest. And you're not gonna gotch me, all right? That, that's why we check, all right? That's why you check. I am debunking this entire video start to finish. Right. Now that, he didn't get me. I was, I was, yeah, I was demonstrating that it couldn't be done. Let's play a bit casino to get that. He that guy, he got me with the stupid edit. Oh, so it's hard to get me, man. I know a lot of stuff. Oh my God. What? Well searched entertainment. Oof. Yay. Oof. This guy does not do this very often. Do you know how I know that? He lying. He lying. <laughs> Oh, 
point, you just click it and it goes. Oof. Yay. Oof. What are these sound effects, bro? I would field never stocks, recommend this I mean, to anyone. Field bosses give a lot of stacks. This is a how to make money with minimum effort and maximum riches. Nobody that is super lazy goes to field bosses. Shut up. All right. No, I can't even. I can't even get out of bed for Vel. Okay, Garmoth. Who? Like, it's not happening. One who wants to get money, since the house always wins, counts here more than in any actual real casino. Yay! Oof! Isn't this just fun? Yes, we love this. Sure, sure. Oof! Yay! This guy has tanked so much money unless he lands the tet baltar at the end this guy is just tanked money Yay! oh boy never again but also we'll do it again anyways you know it as much as i do. so true though holy f you get to the end of your enhancement i got it never again never again i'm done i'm done the next day i'm in the mood to progress today boys and you just go back in it's disgusting it's filthy. It's the same degenerate logic that you use in Duo Q in League of Legends. Every day you finish, never again. I'm done. Next day. Hey man, you ready to queue up? I do. Want to know how I reached so many hours of Black Death? Those are rookie hours. You got to pump those up, big dog. That's some pussy shit. Desert. With another lazy money making scheme, of course. People sadly need. Why are you recording this on your phone? All of this YouTube editing. You have YouTube software. You're editing a YouTube video. You are literally zoom panning across the screen and you are recording on your phone. Who hurt you? What is happening? Need sleep sometimes and go to work to pay for. Oh my god! This dude has it on his iPad. For our electricity overlords, but that. Wait, no, that's his stream deck, bro. Doesn't mean we can't continue collecting more shiny coins. Fishing is a very nice thing. While why is his guardian not, not closed? Why am I even asking? PC, just stand at any season fish area and throw out your rod, fishing rod, not the other one please no no, sometimes we get extra events so that money while not being home or while doing boo boo is even more, anything is better than zero, not to mention that your workers will continue, as well your farms will grow. Speaking of farms, another thing that generates money in the background, sorry for my fat pony, probably What? You can farm on the entire map. Literally every peg of the entire map. And this guy shows this island right here. This guy is sitting on this little beach of an island in the middle of but nowhere with a shy and an elephant farming. Hyphas mushrooms. What am I looking at? What are we doing? What is happening? Probably gave him a bit too many carrots. Anyway, if you don't want to spend- It's in the sand! Did your ancestors have any kids that lived? Holy f 
It's not like the conquistadors of Spain rolled up on the coast and said, let's just drop the farm right here in the sand. You know what I mean? The dead people did that. Holy shit. 10 contribution points for each fence. Just use your- It's natural selection, man. Like it's actually unreal paper card and buy some shiny premium fences reseed your current crops to never buy them again and sell the rest i recommend watching the market a tiny bit and change your crop type from time to time but since we already have so many other things to not do we just sell what we gather from our fields oh no enemy alert new farm who this io hold up a minute where do you think you're going probably stole something from me you die now I don't think the developers even thought, I was curious. I don't even think the developers thought for a moment, hey, we should make an animation for the mole when it reaches water. Didn't even cross their mind. It's a one shot item and who in the f would put their farms in the sand? Let's finish this before we could say it's some kind of work. Can't be. That being said, he's got the pay to win fences. If you're willing to spend like 90 to 100 bucks or so uh, to get the farming outfit with the pay to win fences, it's absolutely worth it. And he's not wrong. This is really good money. Having that. Mostly fields need to be 10 twice a day and we Gucci. So it can. Yeah, I hate that though, because it's like 15 minutes of work every time you have to go to your farms. It's like 30, uh, I would say it's like 20 to 30 minutes a day. That you have to tend to your farms. I would rather just put my worker empire to work. You know what I mean? But the problem is now there's like the pay to win fences. Like, so if you're going to do this with contribution, I don't even recommend it. Just, just put workers to work, bro. Like go active grind for 30 minutes instead or whatever you're going to do or gather or whatever. You know what I mean? You'll make more money. But like, this is like, he's got the pay to win fences. There's no reason not to do it because there's no contribution investment. I just don't want to do it because I'm lazy. Cannot be called work really when you only log your farm girl in, seed and harvest within two minutes and go off again. Is this another Did shy? Did you notice where my farm is located? It is another shy. This guy legitimately only has shies and tamers. Just as a side note, I am so poor and didn't want it to see rich people laugh at me while playing in the dirt that I moved to this isolated small island. Did I not say that was the island? Holy shit. If this was like a quiz show, if this, if this was some sort, I, I swear to God, I ever get into a trivia contest about like, where the f is this place? You know what I mean? On the map, I know exactly where every, where I'm a, I have transcended. Island to be at peace. If you really, really want some kind of active activity, I have got gathering for you. For the moment, it's the only thing. You said I the wrong island? No, that's the right one. It's right outside of Nam. Oh, wait. It's right outside of Nampo Village. See, it's the right one. It's the same. It's the same one I pointed to. Active activity. I have got gathering for you. For the moment, it's the only thingy I do for money when I feel not super mega lazy. Sadly to say, with my current social status, I can't afford the Gucci stuff and have to work with these plastic tools and rags that only I probably can call gathering with worthy. At least we have some cute companions that boost our stats. This guy's weird. That's a little bit and some buffs to even the playing field. I mean, I, I get the, the touch me one comes across as strange, but like it's a it's a porcupine. So like, let's go into this. E -e 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 -e. Oh. This is a special kind of person. Okay. This guy has been playing the game for over 17,000 hours. 17,000 hours. And still rides around with shit on the back of his horse. Like a Neanderthalic new player. This is absolutely wild. Oh, oh, we coming in too hot. Abort mission. Ouch. You didn't see anything, okay? Nobody saw my horsey teleporting. Keep that a secret. 
Gonna speed this up times 10. What up, Garnier? We do this as a showcase for 30 minutes, not in a mood for a longer demonstration. Why is he lumbering? Don't you just want to gather sap here if you're gonna... Let me put up an epic song to act like this is some kind of super... Why would you... Yeah, like, why would you lumber? If, if you're gonna lumber, go get Dead Tree Essence, right? Like, Dead Tree Essence is way better than this. It's way more money than this. This is a, this is a joke. Intense thing. Lumbering in Ash Forest. I see it. Bro, this guy's got the... He's got DMCA music playing in the middle of it. I get it. Well, some of these... Okay, yeah, so he's an idiot. Okay, we're fine. Um, He is gathering for dead tree essence. He just doesn't really know exactly what he's doing per se. Um, the best spot in the game for Dead Tree Essence, if you're going to do it, is actually right here. Out, unironically, outside of right north of where his farms were, uh, it's this circle, like, right here. It's, like, right here. Uh, there are, like, guides you can look up. It'll show you every single tree. Uh, if you don't want to go all the way out to Land of the Morning Light, Garmoth's Nest is the be is the next best. Uh, it's right down here. All these dead trees right here in the Garmoth's Nest all can be gathered for Dead Tree Essence, and you will make way more money uh, than trying to lumber at Ash Forest, um, which is strange. Uh, I'm going to give it to him. It's... He's tryharding. He's a legend. No, nah, he just wants you to gather all this shit so he doesn't have to. And then you should... He's going to tell you to sell the dead tree essence. You know this is about to tell you to sell it. There's no shot. There's no way. What is he doing? If you want dead Tracens, Garmoth rotation. Easy. That's what I said, bro. That's what I do. The Land of the Morning Light one's supposed to be better. I haven't done it yet, but people have told me that it's better, and I believe them. Uh... It's been a while since I've done the dead tree essence grind. Oh my god. Isn't this two steps from hell? This song? This is 100% DMC. Not even, not even close. It's alright. Node will cut it out in post. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's just not minimum effort at all, bro. This is supposed to be your absolute, absolutely good point. This is not minimum effort. Look at all this work. This is way too much work. Nighty night, Guardian. Love you, buddy. I'd rather grind mobs than gather there. Yeah, gathering in Ash Forest sucks. Have you ever tried to do it? I have. It's not fun. And it's really hard. There's mobs everywhere. I mean, it's not that hard, but like... I guess you, you can do the rotation that doesn't include the mobs. It's like the quest mobs are around you. But like, even still, this sucks, dude. You're also getting non-ideal dead tree essence per hour. I sort of, if he tells you to sell the dead tree essence, he is trolling you, chat. There is no way he tells you to sell the dead tree essence. How to turn the mini game back on? Uh, just do the uh, green thumb quest line and they'll just be on. 
Wow wasn't that some super high octane intense insane action of a lumbering session. Let's ask Garmoth.com how much this stuff is roughly worth. Can't put a price tag on it really though since it's kinda against being lazy but oh well. Yeah there you go see it's not it's not it's not about it. And you'll make more money gathering other rotations. Maybe okay after all. For not having to care about potential attacks from other players or sweaty fights where we could die when we try to grab our water bottle while grinding, I would say this is a big win. Back to the That's fair, that's why I grind. Uh, that's why I gather. The city and what's this? To show some AFK cooking, I need more salt. Yeah, and my favorite part is that he doesn't demonstrate that he's 2,000 mastery while he's doing it. Guys, it's really easy to make like 1.4 or 1 whatever billion silver an hour if you just sell. I I, I do want to point out that he's him he is implying that you should sell the dead tree essence. That's what's implied here in Garma. You don't sell the dead tree essence. You make it into spirit perfume elixir. It gives you maximum alchemy exp. It's a great way to keep power leveling your alchemy while pushing gathering forward. On top of the fact that it gives you one of the best perfumes in the game for grinding so it can help you and like pvp you know what i mean like Win. back to the city and what's this to show some afk cooking i need more salt run short legged shy we ain't got time for this did you know that while being overweight and super maybe isn't guru one alchemy the dude is quite literally like even if he's not guru one alchemy that's even more reason why you should be making the dead tree essence into spirit that's because you're power leveling your alchemy. That's why you want to do it. Once you're guru alchemy, you don't really have to worry about it as much. Because you're already past like that point. You know what I mean? I'm guru alchemy. I haven't made spirit perfume in a while. Like It's like, okay, whatever. But like I used to make it all, it's all the way to master 16. I only made spirit perfume elixir. I would just go out, gather dead tree essence. And I would come back. Because it gives you a lot of coffers too. It's really good silver per hour. Slow. That the OP shy class can just ignore this hindrance by stepping on its skateboard. Pretty handy. All right, cooking. Oh. Very simple. Since yet again Pog. our task force of God. I didn't even know that stuff. He was overweight there. You can just say like case. DK can do the same thing. DK can dash, um, like side dash, even when it's overweight. That's why I have my DK as my life skill. That and she's super hot. It's lots of respectively. That we already process into Fleur anyway. We use it in a super cheap cooking recipe that the upper echelon of ultra gamer need for their high end super food. While they can't be okay, I do want to point out that earlier he told you to sell all that flour, guys. And I'm just gonna go ahead and debunk the video right now. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, sell your flour, guys. Definitely sell it for, for sure. Ultra gamer need for their high end super food. While they can't be bothered, so that the rest of us don't have to make flour. Sell it to them, making again least amount of effort. That's all I'm saying, bro. While not playing the game. Before we start, we need to equip our poorly earned miniature cooking clothes and tools. Otherwise, this would take a while. Mm -hmm. Also, probably should eat a small snacky that I found right next to some folk at the high society diner. This should give us tiny bit more profit outcome. Gonna use this 900 utensil. What is that cook time? In a flash. Just give me. No. A second. Time skippy hoppity. Okay, so. This dude is a life skiller. What are you this doing? Give us tiny bit more profit outcome. Gun oh my god, it's like a three and a half second cook time. He has Manos on, I guess. That doesn't matter. He doesn't have a drought running, dude. There's nothing on. What is going on, dude? No. Oh my the... god, do not do or if you have if you had a moron no, I think he's trolling. There's no way he didn't pop a verter drought while he was doing it. There's no way. I need this. There's just no shot. This 900 utensil in a flash. Just give me a second. He's trolling. Time skippy hoppity. Okay, sold some while being at it. The price goes up. And he's selling the Tef bread? What is going on? Definitely sell your Tef bread, guys. Um, don't, yeah. Go gather scorpion meat. You should sell that. Uh, make sure you say, and then your lion meat. Go out, gather all that. It's really good silver per hour. Just sell it on the marketplace so the rest of us uh, can just sit in front of our utensil all day. Up and down a lot. 
but we always put it at max price in and just wait. I nearly forgot to mention. Uh, to be fair, he does like you're gonna your warehouse balance is gonna go up. While having all those buffs active, we trade in some Imperial Guru cooking boxes made of bought meals from those super cool end game working peeps and collect our well earned money because getting them from the market and put them into boxes sure is hard work. Twenty one hundred and forty five cooking mastery. This dude is not around. That is insane. That is crazy. He's not even Guru 50. That is crazy. Let's see how much we get with my low mastery in cooking. He's trolling out of his mind, guys. He is trolling out of his mind. Actually unreal. I hope it was worth the 30 seconds of work. See, yeah, he's definitely trolling. The whole video is a troll. The whole video. Guys, he's trying to get you to do all the dumb shit that he doesn't want to do. So that he can be lazier and not have to go out and gather or do any of the dumb shit. Like... Hmm, I would say that's okay. Thank God I'm here, bro. This is 500 IQ. This is Blade Bow Quest strategy. We reaching the end of a typical Phelan week, but don't you worry. Now the guild fun begins. Look at those hearts. This guy already has a cons heart. He's RPing at this thing. Working guild. And he's not the only one RPing, though. That dude's actually just on his horse at Okia's eye. But don't you worry, now the guild fun begins. Look at those hard-working guild mates. They move around like little ants, very funny to watch. They always say, it's as easy as shooting a fish in a barrel. But this con fight is more like, this is as easy as cannon bomb a fish in a tiny pond by 20 people. Didn't sign up to get- Uh, you'd be surprised how many people f that shit up. I went through an entire expo- I used to go through- I used to run a guild called Dismantled back in the day, guys. Uh, I would have to do con every week when we were a new guild, and I refuse to run it. And whenever people suggest me running con, I say I will not have unionizing in my guild. I won't do it anymore. And the reason is every time I'd be like, all right, you're going to left click three times, and you're going to right click the fourth time. I'm going to load your cannon for you. You're not going to do anything stupid. You're just going to sit there, left click three times, right click the fourth time, okay? Don't, don't this up and sure enough we get to the island everybody like i've summoned the con everybody's firing i look over at little jimmy and he's facing out into the ocean that's my bad jimmy i forgot to explain it honestly it's my fault you have to aim at the sea monster in the middle of the lake you dumbass like literally i just can't handle the guild members are so dumb Wet. holy shit day today loot time On to the next one, the dirty one. Always level three for that extra spice. This is true. You should do your guild bosses. Throwing his poop around like a champ. You should absolutely do your guild bosses. Keeping a safe distance here. Loot time. Hey, he does have a corsair. Just to be clear, not all tamers and shies. Hold up, boys. Before we do the guild ferret, I have a very important meeting. My very own black spirit boss ferret. I think it's pretty okay that everyone has to wait for me. Yeah, guild bosses are super guild worth it. You should do guild bosses. Stuff, or probably because they know him so poor. I don't do it because I'm literally too lazy to do it. I, I, I'm just going to keep it 100 right now. The reason I liked it, like wanted to watch this video because it said minimum effort, maximum risage. That's me, man. I'm all about that minimum effort. I can't even be fucked to go to guild bosses. They're super worth it to do. Can't be sure that I need every extra coin possible. Yes, I am very slow since I do not play pew pew. Do higher levels of guild bosses much. drop more? Pretty Mostly sure, yeah. Only for sailing when I feel not like sure, though. But not I don't know, they've changed them so many times. You guessed it. No money to be made there. Very friendly mates. Love them. Thank yous much. Now we can start the fight against Charmander from Digimon or something. It's an active hot, guild, bro. This, look how many people are here. Look how many people are here for this. Dreamwalkers is like a PDX guild, aren't they? Aukis. This probably will bring some degree of burning. Hope nobody saw me totally not standing in any mechanic relevant positions. In they do, fight. okay. Loot time. 
casually got a now half of a pure blackstone. Dark Souls Puturum, everyone's favorite. Oh look, another guild has summoned him already. It would probably a really dick move to summon ours at the same time, right? Why Oops, would you do that? What an accident. How could this happen? What an asshole. But sadly Pearl Abyss removed the red outlines of enemy attacks from other summons while you Oh my them god. Off, so no funny chaos. It's just gonna sit there and farm them. Us to be found. Loot time. Actually, the money while being running around with guild peeps is for once not the important thing. Sometimes we only want some fun. Uh, he's trolling. He is trolling so hard. So hard. The dude literally just said the guild bosses were, you don't do guild bosses for money, guys. Yeah, you de that's definitely not the reason that you want to do it. It's because you get to have fun with other players. That shit. It's absolutely super worth it because of the rewards. Like, but how old is this video? He's trolling. It's 12 days old. This guy's out of his mind right now. What is happening? Um, Acrylic, thanks so much for the brand new T1 sub, man. Nothing makes me wetter than a new T1 sub. The only thing left now is to collect the market money from this week. Time wasn't enough to have everything being sold, but you get the gist of how this works by hmm. now. I'm Interesting. Sure. Looked like he had a lot there more to more sell there. I do to yoink riches like doing world bosses, events, black spirit bosses, and whatnot, but I am sure you understand now how I do. This guy plays the game full time. Full time. This guy is going to world bosses. He's going to field bosses. He's doing guild bosses. He's gathering. He's cooking. He's doing alchemy. Like, this guy, he's, he's processing. He's doing, like, he's got a, a full worker empire. He feeds the workers. He does his farms every day this is not a minimum effort this is literally somebody that spends 10 hours a day on bdo actively at the computer like no shit like a hundred percent do things just remember be lazy minimum effort and maximum profit that's the fey way to play oh look if that isn't our backwards walking chingar king nice to see him back at nuver efficiency and with this my typical lazy week comes nearly to an end huge thank yous to everyone this was quite fun to make. If you come around Kalfian by chance, you could be a nice buddy and throw some money at me, please. I really could need it. Appreciated much. Love ya. This is the most troll video I have ever seen. This guy is a specimen. I almost, I, I, I've come to appreciate it. By the end of the video, the level of troll that, is, that he actually exercised. Because like, I'll bet you any money that a bunch of people actually believe him. Like, for sure. This is the video right here. That's crazy, dude. It's Blade Boquest in his infancy. I chuckled a few times around the video. Yeah. I thought I was watching 150k subs channel. Amazed by the quality. This dude was filming on his phone. Crazy. It was a good video, though. Even though he was trolling. Oh, this guy uploads a lot. Look at this. Okay, so he only just started out. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Go give him a sub, boys. We want to see more of that. This is W. He's trolling out of his mind, bro. Actually crazy.